Golden Rifle off the turn in front. Golden Rifle trying to hold off, riding the river. These two, one, two now. Sky Blazer on the far outside and Marine Patrol coming into the last 16th. Golden Rifle, Sky Blazer on the far outside, Marine Patrol. Here comes Sky Blazer. Welcome back, Rajiv. He could not have said it better. Welcome back, Rajiv. He made his comeback a winning one aboard Sky Blazer at Gulfstream Park, and we were absolutely ecstatic, very pleased, and lucky to have Rajiv Mirage on the line with us right now. Rajiv, how are you doing? Hey, Rajiv. Great, great. Thanks for having me. You know, we're taking a look at, at that return. We hadn't, you hadn't ridden in three and a half months, and you get up in time. So your timing, you didn't miss anything with your timing, because <laughs> that's all about, it's the key to turf racing riding, as you know. I want to know, how physically tired were you after that race? Because you were dead last early on with Sky Blazer. You know, I had to work so hard to get up and win. I know you're probably elated, but physically, how exhausted were you? Uh, I think the adrenaline got me through to the wire and galloping out. But afterwards, my legs were shaking. <laughs> I was pretty tired. <laughs> I, was, I was fit perfectly to go a mile in the 16. If the race was one more drunk, <laughs> I don't know if I would have made it. <laughs> I mean, that must have been a sensational comeback. I mean, you really couldn't have written that better if it was scripted for you to be off for four months and to, to come back with a win. How was that feeling afterwards? Uh, it just felt like the stars aligned. You, know? um, you, you never know what to expect being off so long and everything, but uh, it, it was just kind of worked out perfect for me. I, I was really lucky for that to happen, and we just very fortunate. I mean, no. I mean, we're going we're to go back to, to the incident um, in the Jai Club Gold Cup on, on the 27th of September. But obviously, there's the, there's the physical part. You had screw, you broke the arm so severely, you had surgery, screws inserted in the arm. What about the mental part of it? You're a guy who, like most riders, you're, you're used to working seven days a week, workaholic, uh, one of the best at what you do. Uh, what was it like not being able to, to work, essentially, for three and a half months? It, it was very frustrating to be out and not being able to work and being, you know, do what you, you love to do. And being a jockey, it's a constant. You, you used to work in every day, yeah. or you know, very, you know, for for many years. And it, it, it's the most frustrating part of it. But it was also good inspiration to make me try to work hard at therapy and and put out 110 percent so I can get back as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So I just try to take it as a, in a constructive way and just try to, you know, motivate myself to try to get back and get back in full shape. Mm -hmm. I will say that jockeys are some of the toughest athletes around. And now well, that we toughest, know that you're toughest. okay and Wicked yeah. Strong is okay, let's take a look back on what exactly happened. Is this hard for you to watch? I mean, it, or, or not? Is, it, is this easy for you to go back and take uh. a look at clipping heels with Moreno at about the... I don't know, it was about the 3-8th pole, uh, Rajiv. Um, you get close to the quarter pole, I guess, here. Um, you go down. Is this easy for you to look at now? Yes, it really doesn't um, bother me watching it. It's just a, it's a, when you fall off, it's an occupational hazard. It's going to happen. And unfortunately for me, I got injured and everything. But it's just a part of, part of being a jockey, I guess. So that's the way I take it. And as bad as it was... And obviously, it was a serious situation. Um, obviously, in, in your profession, you know, you want to avoid anything spinal or head-related. So the fact that it was a broken arm, it, I mean, you feel pretty grateful that you're able to come back and ride now because you know, you know that it could have been a lot worse. Exactly. I mean, if, if that's the worst thing that's going to happen to me throughout my riding career, I think I'm going to be all right. So um, it's... I guess the worst is behind me from this incident, and now my arm is fully healed, and I'm really happy for that. And like you say, whenever you fall off, whether it looks like a severe spill like I had or just a regular spill, it's always dangerous. And uh, every time you fall off, it's a potentially the worst can happen. Like you, you say, you don't really want the worst-case scenario is spinal cord or head yeah. trauma. And for it, to, it looks so bad for people watching the race. Yeah. And Absolutely. Yeah. When I hit the ground, um, it looked like it, there was potential for a, a severe injury. Mm -hmm. So I, I do think I was very fortunate to just escape with just my arm. I had absolutely no other injuries, not even a bruise anywhere else other than wow. my arm that broke. 
That's incredible. Well, we're so happy to see you back in the saddle and winning races already, but let's talk about the 2014 that you had before that spill and mainly focusing on Main Sequence, who we know went home with a couple of Eclipse Awards the other day and a lot due in part to you. Three grade ones with you aboard and obviously you were injured so you could not take part in the Breeders' Cup. Um, what was that ride like with you with Main Sequence? Uh, the connection of Main Sequence are very generous of saying that it a lot, a lot to do with me because, <laughs> honestly, that is a special horse. <laughs> uh, I think uh, m many other jockeys would have been able to have the same kind of success with him. But um, Yeah, Graham Motion talked to us, Rajiv, uh, a, a few weeks ago and said that you were instrumental mm -hmm. in sort of figuring out main sequence. So, yeah, they've been giving you a lot of credit. Well, you know, I'm, I'm good that they say that, but uh, it's really just he's a great horse. <laughs> And that horse has a, has a lot of great days ahead of him, hopefully. And I was just glad to be a part of the team that got him to where he was and to where he ended up and winning all those Eclipse Awards and stuff. What was that like for you? Um, I know that you were actually at the Eclipse Award. What was it like being there and seeing Main Sequence receive those two big awards? I mean, wh what did that feel like for you as the jockey and being so instrumental to this horse's career? Yeah, it, it was very fulfilling for me. Um, because that that horse to be a part with him and team up with him and go through those races and win so many close races, grade ones and and everything, it was just it, it was just very fulfilling for me to see the horse get the the what he deserves because he was he's truly a champion. And and he's gonna we're gonna see him again soon, right? What's the the next race is targeted at Gulfstream? I believe February. 21st grade two event is, is, is am I right with that in terms of main yes, sequence return the to the races? The Mac Dermot, yes. Okay. That's what they're shooting for right now, and uh, hopefully he can have a, a big year as he had last year, or possibly even bigger. Now I noticed that you're riding at Gulfstream Park right now. Thursday today you've got one mount. Tomorrow three mounts. Saturday seven mounts. So are you just giving yourself t a little bit of time uh, to come back into things? Yes, well, the original plan was we didn't really know exactly when I was going to be ready to start uh, fulfilling mounts to start riding. So um, a couple weeks before I rode Sky Blazer, we, we didn't know that we were going to start riding that week. It, it potentially was going to be this week was going to be my comeback week. But then when I started getting on horses, uh, day by day, I started getting fit and improving a lot faster than I thought, getting fitter and stronger than I originally expected that I would. So then we really, my agent and I, we were just trying to just take the steps to start to get back to racing and gradually. So we started the first day with only Sky Blazer and then we had a couple of months and a couple of months. So now we're trying to start to pick it up to where we're going to a full swing of going from a couple of months to probably riding multiple months every day. My man, I mean, you're, you're one of the best in the biz. I mean, groupie doll, back-to-back -back wins in the Philly and Mary Sprint. We talked about main sequence, Dirt Mile, Caleb's Posse, Juvenile Sprint, High Tail. You're only 29 years old. You finished third in the Derby with Mucho Macho Man in 2011. You got to get a Derby horse. That, 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 that's next for you. Come on. You got you to get a Derby horse well, lined up right now. Well, that, the time of the year when you don't generally get to pick up the Derby mounts on the week of the derby. That's a lot of the times to get the derby months, you, you kind of make it to the derby with the horse. And um, like the year when I rode Mucho Macho Man, had ridden him in the Risen Star and won on him and third in Louisiana Derby right. and so forth. So right now, like this Saturday, I ride first down in the Holy Bull and this okay. horse seems like he's got some good potential. And there's many races coming up uh, uh, like Sam Davis, the race that lead towards Oh, the, I know the you have time. Trail. I know you have time. <laughs> so you know, we're, we're that, getting that, close you know, to February. Yeah. We're getting close to February. I just want to remind you of these things. That's all. I'm just, I'm, I'm just glad to be back riding at the moment, <laughs> and hopefully those things will, will fall into place. <laughs> Well, an extremely grateful jockey and talented jockey. Regine, we are so, so excited to see you back and doing well. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get you a derby mount here. <laughs> I'm sure he has yeah. plenty of options. Yeah, congrats on the, on the fantastic return on January 16th. And hopefully two, 2015 will be another great year for you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for having me and have a great day. You he too. Was well. You as well.